Hey, it's Robert again, and in today's episode, we're going to discuss a question that everyone has on their mind. Will the housing market turn around this year? Stay tuned to the end because you want to make sure you hear it all. Coming up with you right now. Many people are asking themselves, should they buy a home or should they sell a home in 2020? Everyone's wondering, should, is it the right time? Is it not? Due to this whole COVID pandemic, this whole situation that we're going through, it's unfortunate. My prayers go out to everyone that is going through some difficult times. But buyers and sellers are still active in today's market, believe it or not. But everyone's wondering, is now the time? Should I buy now? I'm pre-qualified, I've spoken to a bank, I've gotten my pre-qualifications, the whole process is done, I'm ready to shop for a house. On the other side of things, there are sellers that wanna move, they wanna relocate, they wanna upsize into a bigger home, they wanna downsize into a smaller home because people have left the house, no longer are the kids there. Is right now the right time? Many people have put their plans on hold, especially sellers I speak to on a weekly basis, are putting their plans to sell on hold for the moment. They wanna see what's gonna happen. They wanna see if it's gonna make sense for them or not. I had a seller today that I spoke to that is asking me, well, how can buyers buy when we are hitting 15% unemployment rate in the US? That is record highs and understandably so. They have a good point. Is it the time to put the house on the market? Are buyers going to qualify to buy? So many are asking, is the economy gonna turn around? Is this just a temporary situation or will we finally see the light at the end of the tunnel? So the National Association of Realtors, known as the NAR, recently did a study and a survey where they analyzed the behavior patterns and the behavior changes for home buyers and home sellers during this time. And in a reaction to that survey, the NAR chief economist, his name is Lawrence Young, he noted that we are seeing now the beginnings of the turn of the real estate market. And he said, and I quote, after a pause, home sellers are gearing up to list their properties with the reopening of the economy. Plenty of buyers also appear ready to take advantage of record low mortgage rates and the stability that comes with these locked in monthly payments into future years. Now this is the chief economist of the National Association of Realtors. That is over a million plus members nationwide and he is the one that is in charge of talking about and forecasting and projecting what's going to happen through past studies and studies and recent studies they're all crunching their numbers and coming up with some projective figures so what does the survey indicate about sellers sellers are actually positioning themselves to make moves this year Three out of four sellers are saying that they're going to be ready to put their properties and their homes for sale onto the market as soon as the stay at home orders are lifted. What does that mean? That means that there's going to be more inventory for these interested buyers. In this NAR study, it indicates that over 77% of potential sellers are making preparations to sell their homes once the stay at home orders are lifted. And that's coming really soon. Just this week, Zillow announced a rise in listings, which is good news for the overall health of the market. They said the number of new for sale listings overall has shown improvement, up 5.9% last week from the previous week. New listings of the most expensive homes are now seeing the biggest resurgence, up 8%. The uptick is likely a sign sellers are feeling more confident because of improving buyer demand, as newly pending sales have also jumped up during the same period. This is directly from Zillow. So now what does the NAR study say about buyers? The recent pandemic has clearly impacted buyers and here's what the study shows. 5% of the buyers are indicating that they are shifting their mindset from buying in urban areas to more suburban areas. One in eight realtors report that their buyers preferences have changed. They're looking for home offices. They're looking for bigger backyard space and they're looking for more space for their families overall. That is becoming increasingly more important. 
and only 17% of buyers stopped looking due to concerns of potentially losing their jobs. Only 17%. Now, according to everything that you hear out there, you would think at least 50% are concerned, but no. Study shows that only 17% are concerned. So as mentioned before, buyer demand is still strong. Some are just simply waiting for the orders to be lifted so that more inventory can come into the market because believe it or not, demand is high, but inventory is low. So if you are interested in buying, you're going to encounter multiple offers on particular properties. And if you are interested in selling, you're going to encounter that you're going to get close to asking price, if not asking price, and you're going to sell, be able to sell your home potentially in just a matter of days if you're priced right and if you're marketed right. So if you want more information or if you have specific questions to your area, please reach out. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have, give you some more information, some more insight so you know what's the best decision to make for you. And if you like this video and you want to see more content, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know exactly when new videos are available. Until next time, stay safe.